Today we are at Apps Court Farm. I've picked up one thing so far. Uh, let's see how we get on. I'll let you know in the breakdown video. Okay, today we've got quite a few video game pickups. Start with number one, Hello Neighbour on PS4. I paid £2 for this one. I think it trades in for about seven quid, so that's a, that's a really nice one. Next one was great, it was like a bundle. Um, all these games, they said they were 50p each, and I said, well, we should take 150 for these, so they said yes. Godfather 2, I think that's worth maybe two or four pounds. Undead Nightmare, worth two pounds. Black Ops 2, or four credit. Godfather, I think it's worth four cash, or maybe six credit, so yeah. For all for £1.50, that's a really good good little bundle there. A little personal pickup, Soul Reaver 2 on the PS2. Nice condition, complete. Um, yeah, I think I paid maybe a pound. That was not bad. I actually picked up um, a couple of PS1 games while at the same, maybe two stalls down. It was kind of a bit weird to have two copies of a different Soul Reaver games so close. But yeah, picked up this on the PS1. This was... £1.50, it was two. They wanted two quid each, and I offered three pounds for both. I think this one trades in for three pounds cash, maybe a little bit more credit. And this is a personal keep, so sort of Tony Hawk sort of paid for Soul Reaver. Unfortunately, it is I think it was missing the manual. Oh no, it's not missing the manual. Brilliant. That's good. Maybe it was Tony Hawk that was missing the manual. Nope. Cool, that's perfect. I'm sure someone else would appreciate that in their collection, so. Yeah, that will go to CEX. Another Wii sealed game. I had one, uh, had one last week as well. This one is Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Um, on the, it's, the seal is pretty good on it. I think there was a little bit somewhere I found where it had been damaged. Can't remember where now. Well, maybe that bottom corner. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, I think I paid fifty p for that. So I always pick up sort of sealed games like that. Just because maybe if I keep them for a long time, or I don't know what I'll do with them, to be honest. Either I sell them, you know. This was a little bundle I bought. Um, Spider-Man, I think I paid 50p for that one just on its own. And that trades in for about £2 cash. And then these guys for the bundle. Um, they were quite hard on price. They wanted £2 each for them. I managed to get them all for a fiver. And really all I was interested in was this. Um, these are worth like maybe £1.50 cash and £2 cash, so they help sort of pay for it. For £1.50 now for this guy, it's it's not the normal Harry Potter, it's like a bundle copy. So it says they're not to be sold separately. Not to be sold separately. Um, thinner case. Probably must have never came with the manual, or... Ah, maybe it's like the American copies where you see the manual is the front cover. Interesting, it's just a really odd thing. I've never seen it like that before, so I don't know if it's got any value or not, but I just thought it was interesting pick up. I've never seen it like that, and obviously the case is in great condition as well, so, so yeah, I was quite interested in that one. Um, one more gaming thing, I think, yeah. Pokemon Pinball. Um, obviously, when you see something like this, your heart sort of jumps for a second, you're like, you know, cycle of real value, but as you can see, it's it's empty in there and there's a huge tear in the top of the box which is such a shame um maybe it's like it's eaten it it's been left in a cupboard for long i mean i i found this about 9 30 so people have just been walking past it he only wanted 50p for it for 50p you've just got you have to pick it up for 50p surely i mean i don't know because of that damage i have no idea how much it's worth on ebay maybe I mean, what what you could do is you could just cut out the sort of front and back and display them somehow, and there's a little bit of damage in that corner there. But yeah, it's just a, for 50p you can't leave it. It's a Game Boy Pokemon game. How could you not? How could you? Yeah. Um, some ink. Paid 50p for this. I think it goes for around 10 pounds on eBay. And this is the most interesting sort of reselling buy. Coke cans. Um, but not just only Coke cans. McDonald's. Coke cans. If you remember back in sort of the early 2000s, late 90s, can't remember when, but you could buy um, a big meal at, at McDonald's and you'd get a free Coke can. Um, and they're really popular now, people collect them. 
But this is like a bundle somehow. I don't know how they got them. They obviously didn't sell them like this in McDonald's as far as I was aware. But it's all complete. Um, lovely condition. Probably a, I assume it's never been used. Paid five pounds for that one. I don't know how much it's worth, but I mean, I've seen single Coke cans on their own go for five to 10 quid. So you never know. For a nice box bundle like this, 30 quid maybe, maybe more. Yeah, really optimistic, but box is in nice condition. It's been well looked after. It's got to be worth something, right? And last item, a Fallout 76 flask. Um, <laughs> yeah, 50p I think I paid for this one. A bit random. Might be a Christmas gift for one of my friends, or maybe I'll look it up and see how much it's worth. Cool, so that's it for today.